This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. September 21st, Ho'oponopono. For he himself has said, You must be holy because I am holy. 1 Peter 1.16 True solemnity is much more than serious, long, and scowling faces. It arises from sincere, transparent respect and deep admiration for God. True holiness is not mysticism, woe-be-gone and sleepy faces. It arises from building a character under the direction of the Spirit. It's nothing complicated to figure out because God is holy, and we know where to look if we want to be holy. Solemnity and holiness are developed when we can contemplate God and our actions towards others. It's not much use for us to speak like angels themselves if we don't have love for our own, because holiness begins at home. In Hawaii, for thousands of years, a technique has been practiced that helps people get along, especially within families. It's called Ho'oponopono and consists of using four phrases to improve relationships. But despite being simple phrases, they build healthy structures. I'm sorry is number one. Making mistakes is easy. Even the most peaceful person in the world has a bad day. Apologizing sometimes costs more. Maybe it's out of pride or out of shame but our ego always wants to be right and we often fail to make the simple step that starts everything. I'm sorry is much more than acknowledgement of guilt. It's sadness because our actions have done harm. That feeling exposes us, makes us weak, but in turn allows us to grow and improve. Number two is forgive me. Asking for forgiveness is surrendering to the grace of the other. Only true repentance dares to take that step. We're not talking about funny and easy forgiveness that's been stripped of its meaning, but about true forgiveness. It is not very clear why, but a fake apology is always noticeable. Asking for forgiveness is one of God's great inventions because it makes us dependent on the other, dependent on hoping and dependent on giving. Most of all, it makes us human. Thank you is number three. Giving thanks is much more than a courtesy formula. It's the key to putting yourself in the place of the other and in effort that the individual makes for us. Being grateful is being aware of how things work. Giving thanks is a simple way to understand grace. Number four, I love you. The deepest feeling we can express is love. Telling people that we love them is adding one more link to the chain that binds the universe together. Loving is what brings us closer to God, what makes us like saints. Loving is living religion. The Hawaiian term is unusual, but the technique is very simple. I encourage you to practice it. I encourage you with solemnity to be holy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this, walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority, make him yours and you will always live out your purpose. God bless.